I was checking out this one and uh, I just feel that it has the potential to bump up to hopefully a 10. So let me walk you guys through this one. And uh, thanks for checking in, you guys. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. And this is another one of the young guys that I totally like. I think Herbert has a lot of potential and I think we'll enjoy watching this guy for a long time. So he got a nine, which is, you know, totally cool. But after further inspection, I think there's room for improvement. You guys see this line on there? It's faint. So I'm hoping that can be worked on. So we'll try that. The um, back has the same issues. Look at Herbert. You're, you'll see, let me get a better focus here. There's those annoying lines that go all the way across it. This was a friend of mine's card and we determined it would be worth breaking out and he didn't do anything to it. So I stress, you gotta look at these under the light, man, before you send them off and pay a lot of money for grading, check them out. And I do feel that the top edge is bumpy. You see that? I'm not really into that. So I wanna work on that. And then also I see there's paper coming out of it. See the flaky edge? So it's at a nine, man. It's, it's really good, but I just think we can do better. So let's do this. I'm gonna get my trusty painter's tape out. Let me put the card down for a second, you guys. And I just wanna see if we can remove some of the fuzz around the edge. So I'll show you what I'm seeing here. Let's start at the top. See the flaky white paper? There, there, there. The card's in obviously, according to PSA, it's in mint condition. But according to me, I think it can be better. So we're just gonna go a little tape across the top edge. And look at that already. Come on now, that can't be on there. So check that out. Sharp, looks good. We got the same issue going all the way around it. And I use painter's tape, guys, because it has a light adhesive. It's not going to stick to the card or leave residue on it. It's just stuff's a miracle for working on cards, in my opinion. That's why I wear gloves, too, guys, because I want to be able to hold the card when I work on it. I don't want to be afraid of it. And the, the gloves will just keep my oily paw prints off it, of course. And when I get to the corners, I just want to be real mindful and not hit any corners, of course. Yeah, there it's heavy right there. Look at that. See all that? I mean, it's cool. I got a nine, but check your edges, guys. Check them out. Wait. Look at that. That's all from just this one card. So, I just run my finger down the edge with my glove on just to make sure it feels flat. As long as you got the right tools and you know you got your glove on and stuff like that, you, you don't have to be afraid to touch an edge. I'm just making sure it doesn't feel bumpy to me because if there's something that's bumpy on there, I just wanna make sure I clean it up. So check it out, top edge way better that side way better but I still see some there I might even have to get some new tape bear with me so we'll put this one aside I thought I was going to be able to do it all in one so hang with me guys we're just going to do a little bit more edge work then we'll get to the fun part I want to see if I can get the uh, I want to see if I can get those stupid lines to go away or tone down a little bit I feel like when we're working with a nine we're so close I got that annoying piece right there. I 
All right. I'm hard to please, and I'm happy with that. I like that. So now, let's just, I want to give a light. When you guys see me work on um, edges sometimes, you'll see me go to the glass table. I do that when there's like a major ding that I have to work out because I want a hard glass surface behind it. And other times you'll see me stay on the mat. I'm going to stay on the mat for this because I'm not going to push like hard at all. I just want to see if I can get this bumpy edge to not be as bumpy. And I'm barely putting any pressure on this. So that's exactly why I do that because that thing was bumpy bumpy and we're gonna clean it I know you guys can see fingerprints there's fingerprints on this card too I'm actually pretty surprised I got a nine to me it looks like it just has too much stuff going on let me just take a look real quick I know you guys it's super hard to sometimes analyze through the phone but I'm still seeing some edge, a little bit of edge flakes over here that I want to get rid of. Still coming off, see that? I always do that. Prism, I think, is like the... One of the biggest culprits of having these flaky, papery edges. Excellent cards, of course, but... They always seem like you have to go in and do a little bit of work on them, which... Hey, that's what we do, right? Stay still coming up. So I'm cool with that for this demonstration, guys. I'm, I'm fine with that. Now I just want to see if we can get any of these unfortunate lines that come up. Hold on, I do see a little... Just an unperfect corner. So again, I'm not pushing hard on this thing, you guys. Like, when you see me do, like, those edge repairs where it's, like... They just look nasty. I want to use the glass table. This is barely anything. I just want to just gently go over it and just see if I can get it to flatten out a little bit. That's it. That's all I want to do. Because now it's not bumping up. It was like had a little fly away. It's like I swear the more I look at this card, the more I see paper. There's like this one hair on there that I just want to get out. All right, I'm happy with it. Okay, good, right? So, again, as a reminder, guys, we started with a PSA 9 here. And it's an excellent looking card. And I want to see if we can get these dang lines off of it. Okay, so I'll just go at the card. I'll keep it straight up like that. I'm just going to use a little bit of my polish. And we'll find out pretty darn quick if uh, we can turn it around. And it'd be a huge score to turn this thing into a 10. I feel like it has the potential, and, and that's why we decided to go for it. A lot of these videos I'll make you guys were these print lines and imperfections. They all look pretty similar. But I swear that every single one of them is just behaves differently. So you never really know until you get into it. And I know it's, um, you know, there's, you're, you take a chance when you crack a card and decide to resub it or even clean it, then resub it. But if you can identify the issue through the slab and it looks like something doable, 
that's when you just have to make the decision if you just want to go for it or not. And I already feel like with the amount of edge work that we just cleaned up, it's got to be a noticeable difference to a, to a grading perspective. And guys, thanks again for always watching and all the questions and feedback. I'm I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care and appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, just always watching and being interested in what we got going on. So couldn't do it without you. I appreciate you all so much. Guess what? I'm noticing some progress here. I'm not noticing it going away 100% but definitely better. And also, guys, I, I get a lot of questions of like, hey, Kurt, I uh, went after a faint line and it went away a little bit, but it's still there. What do you suggest? I suggest doing the same thing over and over. There's times where you'll make a little bit of progress with these things and you just keep on going at it and whatever that abrasion or smudge is, will eventually start to go away. I'm going to get a different angle here, guys, so bear with me. I want to wipe towards the edge. That's what my goal is. This was like the main glaring thing on the front. And then those little ones across the back. Those suck, too. And sometimes the ones on the back are in even a little bit thicker than they are on the front. But hey, you're here with me. We're doing it together, so we'll find out. All right, let me pick it up. I'll give you guys a little check-in. See how it's there still a little bit, but it's like much smaller. And if that's the best we can get it, it was like twice as wide. It was like a, a line with kind of like an abrasion next to it. So before we flip it, I want to do it one more time. Let me go back to the camera, you guys. I want to get you a good view. So I am seeing some progress with this, and there does come a point where you'll just get to the rock bottom of the, uh, of the blemish, and either it's going to go away or it's just going to reduce and be the best you can and either way guys take it as a win because this already looks better than what we started with and we started with a pretty solid card here as a PSA 9 all right the front looks pretty damn good I can just see that thing in there a little teeny bit. It ran all the way from the bottom of his arm to the almost top of his foot. And I'm holding this under bright light, you guys. So like and then like an angle like that, you can barely even see it. It's in there a little bit. So let's flip it over and go after these. And it's just as a reminder, what I'm going after back here is the little faint ones that run all the way across Justin. And when I move my towel, you guys, I'm just flipping it to get a new, clean area. I don't want to rub the polish back onto it. I want to remove it all. If you guys are new to checking out my stuff, I don't make these products to, like, stay on a card or try to, like, hide stuff. I, I make them to go in there and hopefully get the crap off. And if these little lines, like, are laying on top of the surface and they're real light... 
can usually make a difference with them. Get them to go away at least or tone down quite a bit. Because when they're fresh, they're like bright white. They, sh they don't look, they catch your eye right away is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's take C. So much shinier. I see a little bit of polish over here on the edge. Always analyze your cards really well under under a light like this too, because obviously you don't want to leave anything on a card that could affect the surface grade. We're trying to make the surface better. And if you ever have any little bit of polish dry on your card, you guys just put some fresh polish on top and it will will take care of that. Polish removes polish. All right, I'm happy with the back. Back looks much better. Hopefully removing those little dang lines on the back, giving it a good shine, getting the paper off the edges and uh, getting that front gnarly one down the best I could will be enough. But I'll check back with you guys. So that's the PSA 9 under a deep clean and that's the steps I'd take you guys when you're working on a prism card. Always check the edges. The surfaces are notorious for little lines and give it a good clean front and back and Cross your fingers and pray to the card gods that it comes back at 10. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.